Welcome to Ink It Up with Jessica TV. I'm Jessica Taylor and in this episode I'm going to show you how I took inspiration from the Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog and made two versions of this pretty poinsettia card. The first requires the big shot, but the second is a simplified version with just stamps and a punch. Let me give you some tips for making these cards. Both cards start with just two pieces of shaded spruce cardstock. One is four inches by five and a quarter inches, and that goes right on top of the card base, and the card base is five and a half inches by eight and a half inches folded in half. We'll start with the Big Shot version of the card since it most closely resembles the card that I took inspiration from in the catalog. So let me show you how to cut out the Pretty Poinsettia from your cardstock. I'm going to be using dies from the Detailed Poinsettia Thinlets dies, and I'm going to use this corner die with this poinsettia, which you'll notice it has a nice cutout so you can tell exactly how the poinsettia fits in it. So I find that I get the best cut from my really detailed dies like this with the precision base plate. So to build my Big Shot sandwich, I'm going to start with the Big Shot platform. I'm going to add the thin die adapter, and then I'm going to put the precision base plate on top of that with the black side up. Then I'll put my cardstock on top of that and line up my corner piece right in the corner of my cardstock. This is the four and four inch by five and a quarter inch piece. When I'm putting my poinsettia die in, there's this little um, petal down here with four dots in it. That is what's gonna go down into this little groove down here. So I'm just gonna line that up like so. And because I'm not using the magnetic platform, my dies can move around on my cardstock. So that they don't move around when I'm running them through, I'm gonna put some washi tape on them. Then I'll put another clear cutting pad on top and run this through my Big Shot. It's a pretty tight fit, but that's gonna make you get a really good cut. I'm actually just gonna run it back through to make sure that it goes all the way through all those little details. I'm gonna take this off my precision base plate and put it onto my foam mat so that I can use my brush to uh, get some of those little pieces out. Then I'll just carefully take the washi tape off and if you have little pieces that didn't fall out yet, you can use the little pokey tool on your take your pick tool to just poke those out. I use the same Big Shot sandwich with this smaller die to punch the little circles, to cut the little circles out of sparkle shimmer paper for the inside of my poinsettia. I've also saved a few of the little green leaves that came out and cut out an extra one so that I can add layered dimension onto my card front. I'm going to use the Christmas Wishes stamp from the Peaceful Poinsettia stamp set to stamp my greeting. I'll stamp it in real red ink on a whisper white paper. And then I'm going to use an oval framelit to cut that out. And I'm also going to cut out a scallop oval to fit behind that out of just a piece of real red scrap cardstock that I have. I'm going to use the magnetic platform for this one with a clear cutting pad on top. Put my cardstock down and then if I put my oval right around that it's going to just snap into place and stay where I want it so that it stays centered around my greeting. I'll add another clear cutting pad and run that through my big shot. Once I have it cut out I will just hold it over my oval shape framelits over the scallop ones so that I can find the scallop oval that's going to fit right behind this one. So I'm going to grab this framelit and a piece of real red cardstock scrap and go ahead and use the same Big Shot sandwich to cut that out. Now that I have all of my pieces, it's time to assemble. I'm going to start by just taping my greeting ovals together. You'll see that when I put my front die cut piece on top of my card, I could just leave it straight like this and it looks wonderful, but I wanted to add a little bit of dimension so that it makes the die just pop out even more. So to do that, I'm gonna flip this piece over and add a number of dimensionals. 
This is also where the mini dimensionals come in handy to get in those little spots where the Stampin' Dimensionals are just a little bit too big. Once I have all my dimensionals where I want them and have peeled off the backings, I'm just gonna go ahead and center this on my card front. Push down on it so the Stampin' Dimensionals stay in place. And then we'll go ahead and put our little bits and pieces onto this card. To put all these little bits and pieces on, I'm going to use the silicone craft mat so that I don't make a mess with my glue. I'm gonna use a fine tip glue pen, and I'm also gonna use the take your pick tool. This side has a little putty on the end, and it's perfect for picking up those tiny little pieces and putting them right where you want them. And then finally, I'll just add a bit of snail to the back of my oval and place that right on my card up in the top right corner. And there you go, you have a beautiful poinsettia Christmas card. Now let me show you how to make that so much easier. So I've got my shaded spruce ink. This is the same color as my cardstock, and I have a stamp, again, from the Peaceful Poinsettia stamp set. I'm just gonna ink this up and stamp it along the side of my cardstock. Now, I could have just stamped this straight on my card front, but I decided this gave it just a little bit extra dimension, and also, if you make a mistake, you have two sides of paper to stamp on. I'm gonna go ahead and ink up again, and then I'm gonna stamp it along the bottom edge. And there you go, easy peasy, so much easier than getting out your Big Shot and those die cuts. Now for our greeting. Once again, I'm gonna stamp with the Christmas Wishes stamp in real red ink on Whisper White cardstock, but this time I'm gonna punch it out with the Everyday Label Punch. You want to just push up to unlock your punch, and then if you hold it upside down like this, you can see when your stamped image is centered inside the punch. So I'll just get it right, right where I want it, and punch it out. I'm also gonna punch out one of these label shapes from Real Red cardstock. To get the shadow effect, I'll take my scissors and just cut this right in half. Next, I'll add a little tape to the back of my white label. And then I'll just line it up so that a little bit of the red shows on each side. Now we're ready to tape our card together. I'll just add some adhesive to the back of my card front that I stamped and put that on the front of my card base. I could put this up on dimensionals if I wanted to, but this time I'm just gonna tape it flat to the card front to show you that you don't need a lot of extra supplies to make cards. For the final touch, I'm going to add a little wink of Stella. I'm not sure if you can see it on this card, but I've just added it on the berries and the center of the poinsettia flowers, and it just gives it a little extra shimmer and shine in real person. This is a brush tip. There's a little thing that says push. Give it a little push so that some of the glitter comes down into it. And this is not real glittery in the fact that it's gonna brush off and get glitter everywhere. It just adds a little bit of shimmer and shine. You can see it also darkens up just a little bit the things that you color it onto. So I'm just gonna do the berries and the center of the poinsettias. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it gave you some tips and tricks for your card making. Let me know, do you like the simplified version or the souped up Big Shot version? Thanks so much for watching and happy stamping.